Hola. Hola, chica. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel that I never post on. Last August, me and Chris filmed a Q&A life update situation video. Just gonna slide myself in here. But um, I got lazy and I didn't post it and we were gonna post it, but since August, a lot has changed. Yeah. So we're gonna redo it and give everyone an overdue life update, life update a little Q&A on my story. You know, the classic. She has Usually, bangs Usually, I do have bangs. The last video, we got drunk. Yeah. We're not gonna drink today because it's 1 p.m. And we're hungover, so we're drinking Pedialyte. I got so drunk last night, I was literally hiccuping in the car on the way home. Cheers. Cheers to health. And well. This summer, everyone knows I was stuck in Canada. Yeah. Drove over the border to get my passport stamped for my visa, and they were like, you know what? No, you have to stay here. Everyone always asks about, about why this happened. I posted about it on my TikTok. Basically, yeah, they went through my phone at the border. When? Like, you were like early 20s? Right? I was early 20s, and they found a spicy video of me recording someone else doing something illegal. that may or may not have been illegal. So ever since then, they've given me, given me a really hard time. I have to get a waiver to cross the border saying that I'm not a criminal and that I have a job and blah, blah, blah. So my waiver was for tourism and business and not for my O1 that I just got my, my working visa here. So I had to, when I went over the border, my waiver wasn't attached to my visa. So I had to wait to get a new waiver and the process to get a new waiver took me four months, but I finally got the new waiver, finally got my visa stamp. We're finally back at my house in LA. Woo! We did a nice little five week European adventure that was supposed to be 10 days. It was really nice. Went to Paris, Spain, Mallorca, same thing. Manchester, London, London Berlin, Austria. Austria, Vienna. And we're finally back thriving at home. Those curtains are obviously going. We're gonna refurnish the entire house and we're just out here thriving, living our best lives. 2022 is gonna be a very busy year. We're doing something very exciting for a few weeks. The vibes are gonna be I'm nice. gonna bring Chris with me. He's gonna clam me. There's a lot of filming going on. You guys, will, you guys will just have to wait and see. Yeah, but a lot of fun stuff. So we're just gonna head into the Q&A quick. Well, I just saw one that asked if we slept together. What? Well, it, it disappeared now, but it said, have you and Chris slept together? So we usually do sleep in the same bed every single night. Um, I don't like sleeping alone. With Romy on like the pillow. And we like hold feet sometimes. It's like the toes like intertwined. Yeah. It's like very romantic. Like that. Like but so. we have not had intercourse. Surprisingly <laughs> shocking <laughs> to be honest. Very I thought at one point we were going to. Me too. <laughs> well, a couple did. of times actually. <laughs> <laughs> we need a relationship status update. No. It's a nor for me. It's a nor, darling. You guys. I'm gonna keep my love life private. I'm, I'm so like, am so... I single? Am I in a relationship? Who knows? She's with Romy. That's all yeah, that matters. Yeah, I'm a mother. Where's Romy? Romy! Romy! Anyways, Someone guys. told me once that I say Romy the way Kylie Jenner says Stormy. Romy! Romy! <laughs> is our fridge on wheels? Yeah. It's almost her birthday. It is. Next week. Do you have any plans for your B-Day? I don't know. No? I'm just hanging out. You don't know. Maybe go to Do like... You? Don't do anything to surprise me, I'll kill you. I hate birthdays. I love other people's birthdays. I spoil everything. She is like the birthday. best. Birthdays. But I don't like my own birthday. I just I would rather like literally hang out and like watch a movie How old were you when you realized you like both genders? Okay, so when I was like six or seven I had oh I don't want to say because if I say this maybe some people watching would know who it is And I don't want to out this person because they're not out. I maybe they weren't out Maybe they're just experimenting with me when we were younger Anyways, I had this person that I knew who lived close to my house when I was younger. I hope she doesn't watch this. And <laughs> we would like Confessing hang out and like touch each other and like make out with each other. We were like children, like young what, children, like six or seven or eight. It eight happened eight? for a few years, yeah. She would like come over, we would play house. We would like touch each other's vaginas. I feel like we licked each other's vaginas too. Like at make out, seven? like hug each other. We were really young. I started at like 12. Like I. Did some yeah, stuff in a we were like, library. like we didn't have breasts yet. Like we were children. Public library. Yeah, that's my first like sexual experience. Was in a public library. With a man or a woman? A man. Oh. Well, not a man. I was like yeah. fucking eleven. <laughs> like a boy. Yeah, it was like yeah. in high school. He was like extremely homophobic, but you know. I don't think it's something that you just like all of a sudden one day realize. I think you always kind of know, but like our society, <clears> like especially <throat> when we were younger, was so like straight, like hetero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would always say, oh, if I had a girlfriend, I would treat her so right. Like these boys are, these boys are nothing. Like, and I remember thinking like, oh fuck, I'm a lesbian, but I'm never gonna come out. I'm like, I'm gonna marry a man. I'm gonna have a normal family. That's what I thought. But then I realized like, 
I don't just like women solely. I like women, I like men, I like I think it's like anything. Neat yeah, the right. it's literally it doesn't matter. We're if you both have a penis, like if you have a vagina, hands. like it doesn't matter to me what's going on. Me neither. I don't care. It's about the person, it's about how they make me feel. As long I, as you make me feel happy, celebrated, and yeah. special. You don't even need to be like super hot. There's always something that initially attracts me to someone. Like manners are really important. Gentlemanlessness. Do y'all live together? Yeah! Are we gonna do a house tour? No, because it's dangerous. Here? No, yeah, absolutely dangerous. not. What happened with you and Jesse? Are you still dating? As I said, I'm gonna keep my private, my love life private, but. There's no beef with anyone. There's no beef. The vibes are great. The vibes are great. Do you train with weights? We're actually setting up a gym in the garage. I'm so excited. I ordered free weights, I ordered dumbbells. They should be here. I don't know why most of them aren't here. The bench said it was delivered. Anyways, I'm gonna set up a full garage and we're gonna actually start working, working out, out because I feel like a roasted potato. You just feel so much better and like, yeah. we'll work out. We have a pool, yeah. we can just jump in the pool if you get too hot and be such great. Yeah, the pool's really nice. I am blessed, I think, like genetically, because I can kind of eat whatever I want and yeah, not work out. Sure. I haven't worked out in like almost two years. I worked out for a few weeks in Ottawa. I had a trainer for a bit, and I, I was like really happy with the way my body looked, and now I'm kind of just whatever. Kind of bloated all the time. Do you get like quick results when you work out? Yeah, really mm -hmm. quick, yeah. I build muscle but, really easy as well. And everyone always says, oh, it's the surgery. I have a boob job. That's the only plastic surgery so under the surgery. knife I've ever gotten. I have my lips done. I have uh, filler in my chin because I have a bum chin that I don't like. I have Botox. I have under eye filler that I got like three years ago that's like basically that gone. That and that's count. literally it. I'm not lying, I've never gotten my nose done. I don't have my waist done, if that's even a thing. I obviously don't have a BBL, I have no ass. Now that you and Harry are in the same city, you'll probably see each other at some event. We were at the same restaurant last night. As they should, it's fine. We were there at the same restaurant last night and I didn't even notice until the next day. You told me. I knew because someone I knew was there, but it's fine. She's like 27, he's in his 20s, everyone's adults here. It's not that deep. Is George a makeup artist? Who's George? Is, am I George? Are you George? Yes, he does my glam. I do. I'm on glam squad. Glam squad. Why are you not up uploading hot pics? Okay. Instagram hates me. Every time I upload anything, lingerie or a bikini on my story, it gets removed. I have so many community guidelines violations. I called him a slut in the story and I got- That's it a got, joke. It got taken down for bullying and my account was gonna get deleted. Instagram so is really sensitive. I don't post anything on my Instagram that's that's sexy. If you want anything sexy, I have an OnlyFans account that's literally sexy pics of me. It's so hot. We do photo shoot days all the time. Yeah. Spain pics, Paris pics, anywhere I travel to, water pics, wet t-shirt pics, shower pics, like they're good. The whole everything you could ever want to see is on my OnlyFans account. He takes the pictures, he glams me, and we do photo shoot days, and he takes pictures of my butthole and we put them on my OnlyFans. So if you want to see, go on my OnlyFans. And it's free. I'll put my OnlyFans link here. Yeah, it's free. You know, I take photo sets of like 30 30 photos, okay? It's quality. 30 pictures, and I sell them for like six dollars for like 30 pics. It's so cheap. You could get a Starbucks coffee or you could see 30 pictures of me in lingerie mm. or half naked. Exactly. Or naked. So, so yeah. hop on it. Hey guys, so I'm just interrupting the vlog really quick to tell you about something very important. So as you guys know, I've been traveling a lot lately. I have literally been traveling with these guys everywhere. I'm gonna talk about them in a little bit, but they have not left my suitcase and they come with me everywhere. They are my top two or three things that I need with me at all times because they have changed my life. Like for me personally, when you're moving around a lot, it's hard to form a connection with someone or if you're in a long distance relationship, it's always always good to have things with you so you can pleasure yourself. I am partnered with a sexual wellness brand called Lilo and we are all about normalizing the conversation around self-pleasure because everyone does it and if you're not doing it, you should probably maybe start or at least dabble into it. You can really learn a lot about yourself, learn a lot about what you like, learn a lot about how to have an amazing orgasm because I know you're not coming, I'm not coming, none of us are coming. So we have to fix that and Lilo has these two amazing toys that I'm just obsessed with. So I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about them. This is the Enigma Dual Action Vibrator. First of all, so cute. 
Heck no. I remember the first time I tried one of these, I got one in the mail and I was just like a basic kind of vibrator girl, like just with the basic simple ones that just, you know, go in and vibrate. I did not know that these dual things existed. And when I discovered them, I'm not even kidding you, I was teleported to a different planet and back when I was using it. Like I don't even remember what happened, I blacked out. It was amazing. So this guy, it's very soft, it's waterproof um, in case you get a little bit freaky with it, but it has a clip stimulator here and then the internal part here. You could turn them both on at the same time. So have them both going crazy or um, just one at a time as well. So depends on what you like it. If you're more of like a clip person or more of like an internal person, you can have both with this guy. And it's really just life changing. You can even use it with a partner during sex or you can use it by yourself. I really relate to the brand's messaging because when I was growing up, I was very shy with self gratification. I never wanted to admit that I was doing it. I would always hide my vibrators from any of my friends. Like it was always an awkward topic of conversation, but it really shouldn't be because we're sexual beings and I think self-gratification is very important. It keeps you happy. I think it keeps you healthy. It just relieves stress if you're hungover. It always helps the hangover go away, I swear by that. I just think that it should be a more open topic of conversation and people shouldn't be um, ashamed or nervous or shy to admit that they want a fire amazing vibrator and they want to have crazy orgasms that teleport them to space and back. So the other one that I want to show you is this guy right here. This one's called the Sila and it is life-changing. So again, I also didn't know this existed when I first got this. I was like, what is this, right? Like it, what does it do? And then when you discover what it does, it's life-changing. So it has a bigger head situation here. So there's more room to grab and suck it up. So it's basically a clitoral stimulator and you just put this guy on there and you go to town you can learn which areas you like to be touched which areas you don't like honestly the hype you need to believe it and you guys need to try these guys because i know before i heard about this i was just having like basic orgasms and the orgasms that you can have with this are out of this world both of these guys literally just redefine the meaning of sexual pleasure and if you aren't trying them or exploring into your sexuality a little bit more, then I think you're missing out. And I think there's so much untapped potential of how great sex can be. Self gratification really helps you get there. And it not only is enjoyable for yourself when you're doing it alone, but it really helps as well when you meet someone that you really like or have another sexual partner and you can just tell them what you like. You don't have to like have those weird guessing games. You know exactly what to do. You know exactly how to make yourself come. Highly recommend. Also, one more thing, I'm going to put a link to Lilo in the description below. I'm gonna write a little bit about the features in everything below. So if you wanna check them out, check that link. You are welcome and let's get back to the vlog. Do you want kids? I would love kids. I would like four boys. Really? Yeah, you know that. Boys? Boys. Maybe one girl. I feel, like we had, like, I feel like we had such a different like conversation about this last time. I don't know, I feel like because I want like seven daughters, I thought like you also wanted seven daughters. No, somehow. boys. When's your next TV appearance? Stay tuned. We got a lot coming. If you could describe each other in three words, what would it be? Sexy, you're a gentleman, and you're a noodle boodle. A noodle boodle means you're like sweet and wholesome and cute and sweet and it's nice like and fun. When you want to put like someone on their back. Noodle, noodle, like, noodle boodle. Yeah. I think you are very generous. I think you're very kind and I think you're very thoughtful. You're very beautiful, obviously. Oh, thanks. She just means a lot to me, obviously. She's changed my life. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet. What's that creature in Harry Potter? Dobby. Someone told me it looked like him like in a DM like recently and I was like, Oh, that's really rude. Do I? Show us all your tattoo. I actually just got this tattoo. Look at how cute it is. Isn't it so beautiful? I love butterflies. I'll tag the artist. He's literally amazing. How many tattoos do you have? Like 16. Yeah. Catch up, baby girl. I'm at 21. Yeah, you got a lot though. Yours are huge too. They're massive. But I want so much more. Are you a lesbian or bi? We're pan. <laughs> Pots and pans. Pots everyone. and pans. Honestly, the best way to be. The best way to be. People are asking for business updates, so fair go to label. You guys know is my sustainable, eco-friendly, good for the planet, good for you, good for the environment, good for everyone. Everyone, even the workers. My my manufacturer right now is a small manufacturer of like 15 people. Everyone's paid amazing. It's really hard because it takes me about like a year to like think of an idea and then the process to get it made and get it to you guys is about a year. So obviously that's not very convenient because styles change. There's been a lot that's gone wrong. We've We've had entire bulk orders made in the wrong sizing. We've had entire bulk orders made in the wrong colors. We've had entire bulk orders made wrong. So yeah. 
it's been a struggle and it's really hard to maintain a business and keep on like releasing styles and everything always goes wrong. We've scrapped so much. We do full, full new ranges and then we have to scrap the whole thing. We work on something for eight months, then we have to scrap the whole idea because it doesn't go right. So we're looking into getting a new manufacturer right now. Everything's still gonna be eco-friendly, sustainable. We're thinking of just getting like a, a larger manufacturer that also does other brands that are similar to mine. I'm looking into that right now just for speed. It's a long story, but we're trying really hard to expand the company and it's just taking forever. This question says, is you really getting married? No, I've been in, I mean, was my engagement an engagement? Oh my God, yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Do your nails not get in the way of hooking up with girls? So, I'm not currently hooking up with any females. Cause she's just not. Yeah, I can't, I'm not gonna explain why, but usually these specific nails on this side, these three, she gets them done smaller. These ones usually are really short and then the rest are normal length. So, so no, it doesn't get in the way. I've seen videos of like not, not having to have any nails, but you can maneuver nails in a, like as long as they're not sharp and they're rounded and they're a little shorter, you're fine. I obviously don't have a vagina. How bad can it be if someone has like really sharp nails? Like, are you like I've never stabbing had them? Like, in... I've never had an issue with it. Oh, what's a life goal you would both like to accomplish this year? Well, I can't talk about it because I have NDAs what my goals are that I'm gonna accomplish. But anyways, what's yours? I just wanna be happy. Yeah, and start a family in like a year. That would be ideal. I would love to start planning when I'm gonna have kids next year. Yeah, I would love that. Oh, and I also want a dog this year. Yeah, we wanna breed Romy. I feel like a little Wait, Romy needs to make an appearance. Anyways, I feel like I'd get a little dog. I feel like if I had a white Pomeranian, I would name him Cloud. I want a brown one, a beige one, or a white one. But I feel like two white Pomeranians would be so confusing in the house. He ran away from me. Come here, little baby chicken. Oh, so many kisses for me. Would you ever get a BBL? No. Would you? Me? Yeah. I think it's so obvious when people have them yeah. nowadays. You can always tell this car. Do you have any insecurities? Of course. Um, Everyone has insecurities. Like, it's a thing. Mine are my ears. I'm not talking about mine, but. Aww. What? You shouldn't have any insecurities. You're perfect. Love you. Love you too. But yeah, don't let people's like false image of like the gram, pictures, and stuff. Instagram's fake. It's so fake. Even TikTok's fake. Like, I see so many people on uh. TikTok and I like notice that they're like filtered their videos and stuff. The bodies, yeah. Girl. I can gladly say I have never edited my body in a video ever. Not once. It's just so First obvious. of all, I also don't know how to do it. I don't know. It's like too much. I think the body, the pictures, like when you look at yourself in the mirror, you must feel like awful. So, what's our diet? We're both vegan. Vegan. Do you speak French? Yeah, I speak French. Oui, oui, français croissant. Croissant. And I speak Arabic as well. She speaks a bit of. French as well, and a bit of Italian. Va va culo. What does that mean? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna cut the vlog. Have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in, and stay there'll hydrated. be more content soon. Stay hydrated, drink your water. Woo. Subscribe. To her OnlyFans. Subscribe to Francesca Ferrigo. Peace out.